Cardi, Cardi, are you ready to go fishing? Come on, Cardi, the fish aren't gonna catch themselves. Well, first, Ricky, I have to put away my secret box. Secret box? Cardi, you never told me about any secret box. Hands off, Ricky, this is my secret box. Besides, if I showed you what was inside, it wouldn't be a secret anymore. Only if you could see inside my secret box, Ricky, it would change your life. What? It's okay, Cardi, I have secrets like that too, like my favorite colors, yellow. Hello. I have three pairs of pants and I even have a face under my head. What? Well, I didn't know about that face thing. But Smirky, my secret box has something you will never figure out. And speaking of the box, I'm actually going to put it inside my home. Oh, okay, Cardi. Uh, I wonder what's inside that secret box he has. I, I mean, I really want to know, but uh, I wonder if I can sneak inside his house. I won't really want to figure out what's inside that box. Hmm, maybe there's some way I can secretly figure out what's inside that box without him knowing that I ever went in his house. Hmm, well, first I have to figure out where he's even putting the box. And I have just the idea. So inside my house, I actually have a chest and inside the chest, I have security cameras in a camera monitor. And I have an idea on how I can use these security cameras and camera monitor to perfectly spy on Cardi and figure out what's in that secret box. Cause come on, I really want to figure out what's inside it. So I have an idea. I can't really sneak into his house as Smirky cause he obviously doesn't want me knowing what's inside it. So I'm going to morph into a mailman and you might be wondering how exactly exactly is Cardi gonna let a mailman into his house? And I have just the idea. So I actually have this barrel, which I'm gonna say is a package, and I'm gonna place it down outside right here, and I'm gonna ring his doorbell. Ring, ring, ring! Okay, come on. Cardi, please open it up. And I'm gonna change my voice when he talks to me too. Hello, Cardi. Hello, Mr. Mailman. I have a package for you if you wanna open it. Oh, okay. Uh, there's nothing in here. Um, uh, I have another package for you all the way over here. Oh, what? Uh, I don't think there's anything in here, Mr. Mailman. Okay, while Cardi's opening that package, I'm just gonna sneak into his house and place down cameras everywhere. I need to figure out where his secret box is, so let's just place down all the cameras in while he's outside. We are gonna basically just spy on him, and that sounds a little bit creepy, but I don't care. I want to figure out what secret he's hiding. So we're gonna place down a camera literally everywhere inside his house, and I think he's, like, trying to figure out what's in that empty package even though there is nothing in it. Either way, let's go and figure out where else we can put the cameras. So where else can we put these? I mean, we can put some upstairs. We should probably put some in his hallway too. I don't know if Cardi's gonna be paying attention to his house that carefully. I hope not because these cameras are kind of big. But let's place some more. We'll place one right here and we'll even place one right here. So now we have all our cameras set up and let's go and make sure these work. So let's test the first camera. So let's Let's go into it. Oh, we can see ourselves. Let's test a zoom. And hello, camera. Okay, this works perfectly. So now let's get out this camera. We can basically see all around the house, everywhere. We have a bunch of different angles on each side of the house. So once Cardi comes into his house, we'll basically figure out where he put this secret package. And I hope we can figure it out. And wait, speaking of Cardi, he's walking to his house. I gotta get upstairs and run. Oh my gosh. Do not come upstairs, Cardi. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna hide in here. Please do not come up here. What? the heck? Why did that mailman just come here, leave a package with nothing, and then run off? Oh my gosh. Cardi is inside his house, and he's literally in his bedroom. Why is Cardi in his bedroom? Shouldn't he like, uh, go and uh, make a cake or something? Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna write a note really quickly and drop it upstairs, and hopefully that'll distract Cardi to go and make a cake for whatever reason. But, okay, let's write a note really quickly. So let's grab our piece of paper and write down on it to do make a cake. So Cardi will probably think he has this on a to-do list for someone's birthday or something. Hopefully he thinks that. Uh, anyways, Cardi's over there. Just gonna sneak around this corner and drop it over here and run back. Okay, hopefully Cardi does not see me. Ooh. We're just gonna sneak back into our dresser and let's see what he says. Let's even open up our camera on him. So let's zoom in on him and see what he says. I think we have a better angle too. So let's just zoom into him and see what he says. What is this to do? Make a cake? I, I guess maybe I wrote this a few days ago. I, I don't have very good memory. I guess I'll just go to the kitchen and bake this cake. Oh, Cardi is going to the kitchen. Oh, he's literally going downstairs and going into his kitchen. Okay. Uh, well, this is a 
perfect time for me to escape. So goodbye, Cardi's house. I'm breaking your window. And uh, I'm not going to replace this back. What the heck? I just had my window break in my room. Wait, wait, let me go there. Oh, Cardi just heard that break. I got to run. I got to run. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Oh, and uh, he is looking out the window. What, Mr. Mailbag? Did you throw a rock at my window? Oh, Cardi thinks I threw a rock at his window. I'm just going to nod my head yes. And hopefully he thinks I'm just like griefing his house and trolling him. What do you mean? Yeah, you threw a rock. I'm shooting you, Mr. Mailman. Whoa, don't shoot a bow and arrow at me. Okay, I'm just hiding behind my house. And I'm turning back into Smirky on three, two, one. Okay, so let's just go back into my house, break a wall, because doors are for losers. So I guess now that I'm back in my house, I'm going to check on my cameras and Hardy looks like he's in his living room. So we're going to go to our camera in the living room and see what he's doing. And oh, he is literally just like in his living room watching TV right now. Okay, this is perfect. Oh, uh, man, this TV is getting boring, and I kind of want to open my super secret box, but I just really need to make sure nobody is watching me when I open it, because if anyone sees what's inside this thing, that would be really bad. What is Cardi talking about? Uh, wait, is he gonna open the box? Wait, I might figure out what's inside. I hope so. Did he put the secret box behind this painting, maybe? So let me just break this painting, and in here are four levers that should stop anything from spying on me. Uh, what the heck? Wait, does he think someone's spying on him? Uh-oh. I, I think all the cameras just shut off. What the heck happened? I, I literally can't go on any of the cameras. The camera tablet doesn't even work anymore. I, I can't use it. Oh my gosh, this is trash. I'm getting rid of these. Uh, I guess I can't use those cameras anymore. Oh, am I gonna figure out what's inside this house now? Oh, uh, this is impossible. What am I gonna do? Well, now that I can't spy in his house and I especially can't go back in his house, he's not gonna fall for that mailman prank again. Maybe I could pretend to be his dog. Wait, that's a good idea. So, Cardi actually does have a pet dog in. Wait, I could sneak over to his house and I'll show you it. So, it, the dog is right here in his massive garage and the dog's name is Subscript. So, what if I morph into this dog? So, I have a morph mod and I can literally just morph into it and it'll be the exact same dog. And look, the dog now has a dog friend and we even have a collar. Wait, okay. This is gonna work perfectly. So, what I'm gonna do, I guess now is I'm gonna go and walk into his house like any normal dog would and try and figure out where he's putting this box. Okay, so let's open the door. Uh, how am I gonna open the door as a dog? I literally don't have any fingers. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna bark. Come on, Cardi, open up. I'm barking. Come on, hello. Open up, please. Hello, subscript. Uh, is that you barking? Yes, Cardi, that is. Okay, I'm just gonna walk in the house like a pet dog would. And now that I'm in his house, uh, I'm gonna try and see where he has his secret box. Ah, uh, Cardi, come on. Please say something about your secret box. I mean, like, try to find that after all. Hey, Mr. Doggo. And, and I was thinking someone else was at the door, and I was actually just about to open my secret box. But since you're my dog, it's okay. You can see what's inside. He didn't open his secret box? I, he literally disabled all my cameras to open it. What the heck? And the levers are right there. I mean, I could open these if I wanted to. Wait, I'll jump in here and try and open them. Come on. Hey, open lever. Open lever. Mr. Dog, why are you trying to flick the lever? It's gonna, no, no, no. You gotta keep these off or else people can spy on us. Oh my gosh. Cardi is so paranoid. Where would he keep his box if it's anywhere? I mean, he does kind of just like leave out gold and stuff on his table. So maybe it's not that hard to find. Ooh, I should try and search every room's cabinets and everything to find it. So let's go in the kitchen. And I think Cardi is just like gonna watch TV. Okay, that's good for me. Cardi doesn't even care if I jump on the table or anything. I don't, I don't know what Cardi's doing. Hey, get out the table, dog! Okay, maybe he does care if I jump on the table. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open every cabinet. And is it in here? And it's not. Or here, or here, or here. And I feel like it's not in the kitchen. And come on, where is that secret box? Hey, I, I, what are you... How are these cabinets opening? Is that you? No, no, no. That can't be you, Mr. Dog. You do not have long enough arms. <laughs> oh, Cardi thinks that I'm opening the cabinets. Or does he? But, uh, I'm just gonna shake my whole head. No, uh, come on, Cardi. I'm not opening opening your cabinets. I'm just trying to find that secret box you have. Oh, okay, Mr. Dog. I guess you're not opening the cabinets. Maybe it's a wind or something. Just, uh, stay safe, Mr. Dog. Um, okay. Guys, we need to find the secret box. Where 
where would he even place it? I mean, it could be upstairs. He does have chests in here with nothing in it. There just isn't a single thing in here. Uh, is it in the clock? Why would a secret box be in a clock? How do you even put anything in the clock? Is it in any of these trap doors? Uh, I can't do any, like, cool detective skills as a dog. This kind of sucks. Uh, there is a barrel hidden in the floor. Hopefully it's in this barrel and it is not. Why is it not in this barrel? So we're gonna open this barrel and it's not in this barrel. Oh my gosh. Oh, any of these cabinets? It, it just isn't in any cabinets. How am I gonna find this? I mean, there is like random blocks placed around. Like, why is this block? This shouldn't be here. This should probably be white concrete. Uh, this block looks weird. Oh, it's a secret chest, but it literally has nothing in it. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, maybe I should try and go and bark for Cardi to see where his chest is. Because I don't really have any skills as a dog, so it's kind of hard for me to like, you know, figure out where anything is. So let's just go and uh, jump on his table as the dog, not under, come on, over the table, and bark at him, bark, bark, bark. Hey, Mr. Dog, do you want to play or something? Why are you standing in front of the TV? I'm trying to watch the game. Oh, uh, no, Cardi, I don't want to play a game. I'm going to shake my head. No, no, no. And I'm going to try and get him to show me where it is. So I'm going to jump over here and nod my head. You want to play? Okay. I, I don't want to play. Where, where is the secret thing? I'm going to flick one of the levers with my... Hey, no, uh, no, no, no. I already told you, do not flick these, Mr. Dog. This is going to make it so people spy on us. What the heck? This guy is so paranoid. Okay. Well, I I'm just going to leave you to watch TV, Cardi. Uh, I need to do something that's going to allow me to get like in and out his house because I don't have any cool detective skills as a dog, but I would have a lot more inventory room as Smirky. So what if I actually made secret entrances into his home? Would Cardi noticed if I broke any blocks? Let's jump on the table and break this thing. See if he notices. Break it. And does he notice? I don't think he notices me at all. Okay, that might be really good because I think I'll be able to break any block I want without him hearing. And I think he's too focused on watching TV. So let's go here and let's actually get another new block called Ghost Blocks. And let's place these blocks and make like an interesting entrance right here. So what we're gonna do with these blocks is they basically look like bricks, but they allow you to walk through them completely. So I don't think Cardi would notice this at all if he just had like a secret entrance right here. And this is kind of cool. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some ladders in a birch door. So we're gonna get a birch door right here and we're gonna get a bunch of ladders to go up into his house. And it's kind of hard to climb the ladders as a dog, but we can easily get in and out. So we have one secret entrance, but we should probably make more. So uh, let's place some secret entrances in his house. So we'll place one right here. We'll like mark it off with ladders. We'll place one into his garage like this and we'll know because it's like different than the other wood. So we just walk through this. Now we can get up into his house, but I feel like this is still a little bit too hard. So what if we even just put a ladder outside his house like this? Broke a few blocks, went up like this, placed a few quartz things, and made a ghost block entrance right here. So now we can just walk through this, and there we go. Now we have a super secret entrance into his house. And I feel like we should go back to our house as the dog and, you know, morph back into Cardi so we can get some really cool detective skills. So let's jump over over to our house and let's go inside and uh, close the door. I don't want Cardi seeing me for whatever reason. So we're gonna go back upstairs and morph back into Smirky. And there we go. Now we're back at Smirky. Let's go. So um, now I guess we can grab some really cool detective skills and let's figure out what we want to grab. And I actually have a few spy gadgets in mind. So we have a wooden sword. It's not a spy gadget actually, but we are gonna need it probably. I have a blindfold, a mining gadget, Mark three. I don't know what on earth we would need these laser weapons for. I have stun grenades. I have goggles of true vision. And of course, I have an invisibility potion. So we have all these different materials and yet, yeah, you know, like whatever. But we need to actually use them all. So I'm going to show you what different stuff do. So this mining gadget thing allows us to break walls like instantly. And it's really, really cool. I don't know if we are going to use this. This stun grenade literally stuns you if I throw it at you. Uh, blindfold, if I hit you with it, you go blind line in this wooden sword maybe in case i need to you know attack something i hope i don't and then this invisibility potion to go invis i also have this goggles of true sight so i can see where my secret entrances are so we're gonna splash ourselves with night vision now we're just a floating pair of goggles and we're gonna go infiltrate cardi's house so we're gonna sneak in here and we're gonna go search for any secret place he would hide his stuff at so uh we're gonna use this mining gadget hopefully it's on a wall uh let's see it is 
it is not here. Let's replace the wall. Uh, maybe if I destroy this stuff and go into his attic here. Oh, he probably heard that note block. Wait, what? I heard a note block. Uh-oh, he heard it. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of them. Uh-oh, he's coming upstairs. I, I gotta do something. So I have the stun grenade. I'm gonna throw it here and run. I gotta run. I gotta run. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay, now I gotta go back downstairs and I'm gonna hide in this area. I, I didn't expect Cordy to uh, come upstairs. Oh my gosh, there's a robber at my house. Get away. Oh no, Cardi thinks I'm robbing his house. I'm just gonna hide down in his living room and hopefully he doesn't see me. Oh, I need to hide or something. Oh my gosh, he's right there. I really need to make sure this robber does not get this piece of paper because it has a very, very secret thing on it. Uh, what does that thing have? I kind of want to see if, do you think if I get close, I can see it? Uh, is he gonna notice this floating pair of goggles? I hope not. Uh, let me get close. Uh, I need to see what that piece of paper is for and I have no idea what it's for. Wait, maybe there's something secret in this area. I'm just gonna go through here because there is a secret block I didn't place and it does go down into more secret blocks, but can I see what's inside this? This is not a real block. What if this drops me into a trap? And uh, let's just see where it drops me into on three, two, one, and I am in some bunker. Uh, wait, maybe that keypad had the code to this door because this is a keypad door. Uh, what's the code you think? One, two, three, enter. No, okay. Five, five, eight. No, okay. I have no idea what this code is and I got to get out this bunker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mine my way out of this and uh, I can't mine the block. It, it literally stops. Okay. I, I need to get back up. Hmm, I, I don't have enough blocks to build up. Uh, come on. No. Well, luckily I do have these ladders in my inventory that I brought just in case. So I'm going to build up with these and I'm just going to run out Cardi's house because I think I might have an idea how I want to get into this bunker and I almost just fell. But we're going to build back up and we are just going to get out his house. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out these goggles at True Sight because we don't need them and we are going to get back in this guy's house. And this is going to be hard to back in so we're gonna get back in his house now there we go and we're just gonna walk right past him and he's still holding that piece of paper i don't want to knock my friend out or anything and i think that's the only way i could be able to get that piece of paper so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to my house and i have just the idea on how to get that and i think my invisibility ran out just in time okay so in my house i actually have a secret thing so if we come right here and we mine this block we actually have a hidden chest and the code is one two three it's not that hidden or that secret but inside this chest we have a thing called tunnel armor which i'll show you in a second but i want to get into that bunker under cardi's house and the way to do that is using this tunnel armor mech so what we're gonna do is we are gonna mine into his house using our mining gadget okay we're gonna mine all the way and this tunnel armor is gonna be able to mine through those iron blocks and look the iron blocks are literally right there okay let's just mine back in so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna clear out an area with this mining gadget okay just clear it all out i'll cut to when it's all clear so we're back and it's all clear now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down this mech and look how cool this is basically what this is gonna allow us to do is mine through all this stuff and get into this bunker and we are actually gonna have to make a path over to that door because i don't want to mine into like an area that could bring me somewhere dangerous so we're gonna build a pathway right here for the mech okay and find out where this bunker starts at and i think it should be around this area so we should be good just to go here just when we clear this room so now that it's all clear, what we gotta do is we gotta hop in our mech and we gotta just basically mine. And I think if we get near a block, oh, it starts suffocating us. Okay, that's not good. But we activate the mech and it starts breaking blocks. And this is gonna be a process, but it basically breaks nine blocks at a time. And if we aim this in the correct direction, look, we should be able to break these iron blocks. Come on, just break it for me. Uh, are we breaking in it on the correct way? I hope so. But, uh, come on. Oh, I can see the door now. So I think this is good. This is all we need the mech for. So now we just hop out and we can build up. So let's just get rid of all the blocks we probably don't need, like the ladders, all this random stuff. And um, now let's see what's in this bunker. And I probably shouldn't have got rid of those blocks because this is all parkour. I'm a pro at parkour, so I can do this first try. Watch this. So we jump across this. We jump here, jump here, jump here, and easy parkour master. And this is probably where Cordy's secret is held. So let's uh. 
do some more parkour. We're gonna jump up here. And now we have a sick point where we can see everything. And wait, I think that might be the chest Cordy has his secret item in. So let's get over to that. So we have this next area, which is lasers and stuff. This is gonna be hard to go through. Because I feel like if I hit the lasers, it's gonna activate an alarm. And I can't get in this one. This one looks way too dangerous. I do not want to go in that. So let's just go over to here. And I, I guess this is the simplest one. So we'll do the parkour and make sure we don't hit a laser. Okay, so we got to be really, really careful and not hit anything. And come on, we'll open it up. And there we go. Wow, we did not hit any lasers. And now I guess we just do basic parkour over here. And so, I mean, now that we're here, I guess we can open his chest and let's see what the code is. Let's open it. Four, three, two, one. This was the code that he gave me. So let's enter the last digit and not the code. Oh, what happened when I opened that chest? So much stuff exploded. Uh, I probably shouldn't have entered the wrong code. Oh my gosh. What is happening? I'm hitting the lasers too. What is happening? I messed up. His entire bunker just got exploded because of me. What the heck did I do? Uh, hello, Smirky. What are you doing at that hole? I heard a huge explosion and what is this? Uh, hi, Cardi. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to explain this. I just, uh, I tried opening that chest over there and Cardi, it, it exploded everything. Was this your secret all along? Yeah, this is my secret, Smirky. Why were you even trying to open that chest? Cardi, you were trying to hide it from me and I just had to know what was inside it. Oh my gosh, did I explode your house? I hope not. Uh, you exploded a little bit, but I mean, it's fine, Smirky, but if you just asked very, very kindly, I guess I could have just showed you what was in that chest. It, it, wait, so does that mean you can show me it here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go build over to it and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, let's just build over to it and uh, you can bridge fast. Fine. Go, go, go. And you want to know exactly what was in here, Smirky? I mean, yeah, Cordy, I, I do want to know what was inside it. What was it? Well, the passcode's one, two, three. Are you serious? Yep. Let me enter that. One, two, three, and inside it's a dead bush. Was this your secret all along? Yup. And aren't you super happy of the birthday present I got you? No, Cardi. I mean, yes, Cardi. If it's from you, I guess I, I, I am thankful. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry for blowing up your entire bunker. Jeez, I, I kind of messed it up. Yeah, I had a very extreme security system. Well, if you enjoyed this video, remember to click the circle on the screen and also watch one of the videos. But you should totally click the circle on the screen because that allows you to subscribe to the channel and that will make sure that you can support us to keep making these videos. Bye!